from a start I knew that I'd found a home for my heart Beats fast, colors and promises How to be brave, how can I love when I'm afraid to Hey everybody, so I finally caved and tested this morning. Um, I was way too much of a chicken to record it, so I'm so sorry. I really wanted to share that like very first moment with you guys, but honestly, um, I literally couldn't do it. I couldn't watch the tests myself. Uh, I was terrified, so I didn't tape it, but I will show you the result. Okay, so beta number two was just drawn. Um, I'm so nervous. <sighs> I thought beta number one was bad, but beta number two is gonna be even worse of a wait. Um, so yeah, I'm still like, I'm so excited. I took another pregnancy test this morning. It's 11 days past five day transfer, and my lines are now even, so that's awesome. Um, I know I don't seem, like I didn't, you guys didn't see my initial reaction. So um, I'm really excited. I'm just so nervous. You know, this is the first time I've been pregnant. It's been so much to get to this point. And if I'm like over the moon. I'm so thankful and grateful and everything. I'm just terrified, honestly, that, you know, there's gonna be something wrong with this baby, but trying to stay relaxed as much as I can at the same time. Um, yeah, so literally, like, I forgot to tell you guys, like, after I tested the first time at eight days past transfer, I, like, was washing my face, I, like, set the tests aside, and I pulled them out, and when I saw them, I literally, like, put them in my hands, and, like, got <laughs> on my knees, and, like, was in my closet, because it's attached to my master bathroom. And I was bawling, you guys, and I left the water running on my sink because I didn't want my husband to hear me, whatever reaction it was, like right away. And I was just thanking God so much for the blessing of this baby and, you know, everything that he's given us. So, um, yeah, and then I told him, I went out, you know, like I said, and I grabbed that little onesie and I told him and... He, we were just like hugging, you know, after he was like, does this mean yes? When he was trying to figure it out, you know, boys, they can't read a pregnancy test. Um, even though he's been staring at one line for three years, you would think he could figure it out. Um, but anyway, we were just hugging each other for a really long time and I was like crying and I looked up at him and he was crying too, you guys. He was bawling. I could not believe it. Like... He, my husband does not cry. Um, 
he's a very sensitive guy, but he doesn't cry. I've literally seen him cry one other time. That's when we had to put our little dog down this year. So, yeah, he is so over the moon. Um, you know, we've been talking to the little baby and praying for him or her, and I'm just hoping that this beta number comes back good. So my first was 266, um, and so that was a great number. I was really kind of surprised. So second beta should be at least 530 something, I'm hoping. Um, I'm hoping for a little higher than that, just to show that the baby is nice and healthy. Um, as far as how I'm feeling, I'm not really feeling very much. Um, there was one morning I was brushing my teeth, I felt a little gaggy. Um, I'm tired, but I don't know if it's because I haven't had a drop of coffee since before egg retrieval. Um, or if it's the pregnancy. Um, and I notice I get a little sick to my stomach if my stomach gets empty and I've still been really, really hungry. So I've been eating a lot. Um, just to try to keep my stomach full. Um, drinking some protein shakes every now and then. And I bought some um, prenatal DHA from that Garden of Life brand. And I started taking that too for a little baby's brain and everything. So, um, that's pretty much my symptoms. I'm still cramping every once in a while too. Um, I've had no spotting, thank God. So they switched my estradiol instead of three times a day vaginally. That is now three times a day orally. And my progesterone and oil, um, they said I don't need to do any more. Which I'm kind of glad because my... I would have done it, don't get me wrong, and I kind of was going to ask to continue it, but literally I was getting huge lumps on my backside no matter how much I massaged it, and even the last time, like it's so hard, like some of the oil was starting to come back out, like my tissue was just not handling it well. So I'm on Prometrium, so just progesterone capsules, 200 milligrams three times a day. So, and I haven't really noticed any side effects from that stuff. Sorry if the camera is shaking, my hand is just getting a little tired. Um, but yeah, so, so far all great news. Um, they won't do an ultrasound if this beta is good until seven weeks. So around March 11th. And from what we've been looking at online, baby would be due um, towards the end of October, which is kind of cool because if everything works out like all the hard moments that I've had TTC wise like obviously there's been more than this but during the holidays um, like that breakdown I had at the apple orchard with all you know if you guys have been watching me all along you know what I'm talking about with all the little kids um, and pregnant people everywhere like I literally broke down when we had to leave and I love the fall and I love going there um, you know, I've always prayed for a baby for at Christmas, um, and then, you know, like I've always wanted to be pregnant during the summer, and so all the things that I thought God had taken away from us, He's giving back. So I will be pregnant this summer. Our baby will be born at Christmas, and you know, we'll be able to go to the apple orchard this year, and hopefully, I'll be pregnant. So yeah. Just hoping and praying everything looks good, and I will keep you guys updated. I have to go to work. Hey guys, Bye guys. can you tell this is my favorite hat? I like wear it every day, all the time. Um, my hair is like not hanging out because I just got out of the shower, and due to sheer laziness, I did not blow dry it. So I have it like up under my hat because it's like, you know, 20 degrees where I live right now. Um, beta number two is in 746, so that's great. We went from 266 to 746 in 48 hours, so more than doubled, so it's awesome. We are really happy. Um, as far as like symptoms, I still have the ferocious hunger. Um, if I don't eat, I start to feel really crappy. Other than that, I feel fine. Um, I've had this weird kind of pounding heart rate even at rest. I can notice my heartbeat when I'm laying down. And I noticed that before I actually tested, um, but I didn't know if I was like stressed out or what the heck it was. Um, but I read that you can um, have your heartbeat increase by up to 15 beats per minute um, in this first few weeks. 
Uh, I also, so I don't see my doctor or have an ultrasound until seven weeks, which would be March 11th. So I kind of like did my own due date-ish and how far along I am, because uh, nobody told me and I won't see my doctor until then. I found this like five day transfer IVF due date calculator. So that said, October 28th is our due date. And uh, so I'm four weeks and three days pregnant today. Um, one other thing I noticed too, I'm sorry, I'm so all over the place. That's another thing, like I am very forgetful lately and I don't want to say it's the pregnancy already, but it's been a lot worse. Like noticing the days leading up to getting that positive and since then I've been completely scatterbrained. Um, before my BFP I noticed also like, this is way gross in TMI, my like nipples look different. <laughs> And they continue to look different and be bigger and they were just a little sore but now my entire breast area is starting to be sore. Um, so I guess it's a good thing. I am just out and about right now I'm trying to get some healthy snacks for baby. I am starving. Um, we have no food in the house because we had my brother-in-law come with his new girlfriend. They stayed with us for the last two days so I've been busy like getting ready for them to come in and then when they left I was busy you know cleaning up and washing all the towels and the sheets and putting that bedroom back together and you know there was no time for grocery shopping so I'm not gonna go crazy I'm just getting a few things I'm still just trying to take it easy um, but I just knew if I sent my husband to the store for some of the stuff I want he would come back empty-handed um, so yeah he's not the best in the grocery store so yeah that's everything that's going on I'm sorry you guys are gonna get all these videos like clumped together but I just haven't had time to my you know like the transfer and my work and everything else so um, there are people pulling into the parking lot and they're all staring at me like I'm crazy uh, but I just wanted to share this with you guys and um, so I will let you guys know if anything happens in the meantime um, before March 11th all right thanks all for all your support and all of you who have followed me on Instagram, I really appreciate your support on there too. And I just want to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart for following me on this journey and hanging in there with me. And let's just pray for a healthy, strong little baby on March 11th. Alright, bye guys.